Hello everyone, it's Migs here again and welcome to my brand new series, Personalize Your Mod. I'm sorry you had to wait this long for my next video, but I did some really extensive testing with the AI behavior after finding it was still buggy and not to my liking. Well, I can say now that it was worth the wait. You guys are in for a real treat. So a couple of things before we get started and very important. Please watch the video in the link below before we get started. It will show you how to establish your mod in the correct format and will also show you where to get the needed files and how to format them. Secondly, I've realized that because of all the detail that goes into editing the mod, it takes time to explain. So I'll therefore be breaking the videos down into smaller, manageable segments that will get straight to the point. And if the subject matter is not something that appeals to you, you can simply skip through to the next video that interests you. And lastly, each video will be categorized according to the base folder arrangement order, and that way you'll know where you are at all times. So with all that said, let's begin. Okay, so this video is all about managing the damage and wear of your truck. Uh, assuming that you've watched my previous video, you know exactly what I'll be doing next. So we're going to open up the my mods. Right, there we go. Uh, as you can recall before, this was full of content. I've deleted everything because we're going to do a fresh start. Like I said, we're breaking this up into little segments. And we're going to break it down according to the, the order of the base folder. So in the base folder, we'll open that up. I'm just going to move this down here. And you'll see that we will always concentrate on the def folder. Open that up. What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be uh, looking for the damage data. There we go. It's this one here. Right click and drag it onto your desktop. Copy here. Right, there we go. We can close this up now. I'm done with this one. Now what we're going to do is we have to open it up in Notepad. Okay. So let's just open up this damage data. As you can see, it gives you the damage coefficient factors of the truck, the trailer, the, the cabin. It even gives you the tire wear, the fuel uh, usage and all that. You can change all this by simply, if you put a zero, it's going to put it basically to no damage. So you can mitigate how much damage you want, uh, how frequent you want the damage. You can do all that. So what, I, what I've done is with mine, I've taken off the damage because you get these odd behaviors sometimes that's not explained by the AI and they'll just drive into you and they'll cause you unnecessary damage for no reason. Uh, so what I've done is I've changed mine all to zero. You can change it to whatever you want. Remember, the, the higher the number, the more damage you'll suffer. The lower the, num the number, obviously, the less damage you'll suffer. And this applies to the side damage, the roof damage. As you can see, if you go down the whole thing, you will see exactly, it's self-explanatory. And okay, here's a good one. Wear per kilometer of drive. What I've done is engine wear. I've wanted, I mean, everything is destructible. Uh, there's nothing that's indestructible. Engine wear, obviously, the more kilometers you put on, the more wear you'll have on, on the motor. But I was finding that if I do a lot of kilometers and very frequently the engine I'd, I would stop the gearbox would start failing I wouldn't be able to get into a certain gear I wouldn't be able to use the splitter for whatever reason and that was uh, irritating me a bit so I've changed that value to one instead of the two I've just halved the value at which it wears the transmission wear the same I've done that to one and the wheel wear I've also done that to one so you're still going to get wear but at a much lower rate I, I i think a more reasonable rate but that's entirely in, up to interpretation each one has its own uh, idea of what the wear should be you know like i said this this whole series is about making the mod unique to you if a guy asks a question please how do i change the speed limit of my truck or how do i make my truck go faster they assume you want to go race with the thing you know, it's not what you're asking, and I've understood that because I've been one of those guys. I've wanted my escorts to, for example, not to stick at 60 kilometers an hour. There's some stretches of road you can do 100 kilometers an hour. So it's entirely up to you, and I feel you have the right to change it according to what you wanted to. And it's your game. You paid for it, so why not change it the way you want it to work? And that's all I'm doing over here. So going back to the damage distribution of the trailer and the cargo yeah you can set this thing to whatever values you want i personally have set all these to zero so i'm just going to put them all on zero that gives me freedom no guessing 
doesn't mean I go and ram everything on the road. As you can see from the videos I'll post in the future, I'm going to do some actual cargo runs. So you can see the actual gameplay, how the AI behave. And you'll notice that I'm, my speed limit, my truck's speed limit is set to 115. But I hardly drive over 95. And that just gives me the feeling that you got time to, to view the scenery because Euro Truck really has great scenery, especially with the Pro Mods add-on. And if, you, if, you, if you're only focused on the road, you're missing out on a lot. That is one of the features about this game that really got me hooked is the realism. And the only thing that was missing was the AI behavior. So this whole series is dedicated to getting the AI to do what they're supposed to, how they're supposed to, and the way we know them to do it. Okay, so now that you know what to do with everything, I'm just going to set everything to zero. All right, now that you can see everything's been set to zero, you can see that all the way down, I've only left the wear ratios in there, so that it makes it a bit realistic, but everything's been done. You have to save the file. All right, let's save it. Once the file's been saved, I suppose we can close this up, yeah? Now we have to go back into the My Mods folder, which is this one, yeah? Open up your dev folder. Now, move your file into that folder. There we go. All right, and as before, if you've watched the video in the link below, you'll know how to do this, but I'm just going to explain it one more time. You basically highlight everything, you right click, and you say add to archive. This screen will pop up. You got to change it to zip. You got to say store the compression method, and you have to change that to SCS. Once you've done all that, so it's three, it's three things you got to check. It's zip. It's your compression method to store, and you have to change the extension to SCS. You say, okay. Once that's done, you can see, here's your mod. You can move that out there. There we go. And once you open it, it will be in the format that you can put into your mod manager, and your job's done. Once you open up your game, just select it in your mod manager. Once you've done that, you'll see that everything will be working as it should in your game. Okay? So, very simple, uh, very straightforward. It's a short video from now on. And if you have any questions, hit me up below, ask your questions, I'll fire away, I'll answer whatever I can. If you like what you see, please guys, subscribe. The more audience I can get, the more videos I can make. The more information you give me, the more content I can create. So it's all up to you. If you want to see more, let me know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share my videos, set your alerts, get everything going so that you are informed immediately as soon as, as, soon as something new is posted. And I'll get to it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy it.